Wounded. No, wounded. Huh? You're wounded. Oh, I know. I see. Oh my God. See, you don't uh, you don't come and get to know me without having it affect you in some way. <laughs> the battle wound. On <laughs> yeah. Fight with that bed. <laughs> so um, so where are we at? Subway. <laughs> yeah, in where? In Mariposa. Yeah. <laughs> That's really awkward. <laughs> you should go rock climbing and camping with us. Oh really? Yeah. You go no, in Yosemite? Oh yeah. So um. So I'll give you 50 for, for working and 20 for releasing the video. What video? That I'm shooting. Right now? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay? Damn it. It's worth 20 bucks. Okay. All right. Nice to have a pan vision. Yeah. VFW. Take up this way. Woohoo! Take a pass, it's fast! Take a pass, y'all for it, have some wine. Come around this side. I'm just gonna get the. Come around this side. Fuck over board, it's a take up pass, it's fast. Woohoo! Woohoo! No more wine tasting for you. <laughs> it happens right after it goes over, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna re I'm gonna record it. <laughs> I got high high def. <laughs> well, if it's here, if it comes, I'm gonna catch it. <laughs> Yeah, 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 that's it, that's it, that's it, that was it, that was, that was it, that was totally it, <laughs> did you see that, <laughs> that was awesome, <laughs> the green flash, we saw it, <laughs> that was my first time, really, wow, that was my first time, that was awesome, you're like, look, watch, watch, watch. that was it, yeah, oh, now look at those clouds, look at how trippy they look, it's right at the sunset, Here we are at Margaret Hudson's gallery with Bear holding Margaret's famous bear. Love. Which one? Are full of love. Yeah. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Mm. They're all so cute. Okay, this is the woman of Art Hop. Oh, so. yeah, <laughs> Why, why are you so amused? Because <laughs> I had to put myself in the middle? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Look at that. That is awesome. I know that. Alright, thanks, Irene. Give me a broken car. Yes, blueberry is getting towed. <laughs> yeah, this is the second time I've had to get this tar car towed. And Irene had it for two years and she never had to get it towed. <laughs> yeah, she breaks it and gives it to me. <laughs> Where's it out? <laughs> Ooh, but I did to get those cool rims. <laughs> it looks more and more like a go-kart. <laughs> Don't worry, Blueberry. I'll fix you. You'll be driving me again soon. <laughs> It'll be all okay. <laughs> That's what I renamed it. <laughs> I'm pimping out my ride, my Honda Civic. I'll take it home and I'm gonna fix it up and I'll make it even better. I will rebuild her. She'll be stronger. <laughs> so Brent, you see what's going on at Libya since we talked? <laughs> oh man, I need to get there, brother. Oh, 
I'll get her fixed. Weedy. Weedy. Hey. How you doing? So I spoke at UC Merced yesterday and the press from the newspaper was there and um, Merced Sunstar newspaper was there. A reporter from the Sunstar was there. And um, um, Ray Winters, he has a PhD and something, anyhow. He, um, he wrote a article for uh, uh, academic magazine talking about Californians and successful Californians so you may not want to go on record as saying that education is an amazing thing it can be a really powerful tool but f for people like me um, it would have never worked I, I, I could not fit into the constraints of other people telling me what to do in order to get a degree. I never wanted to start down that path. I just like to do what I like to do. <laughs> so I never... Well, here's the thing, you know, I educated myself. I read, um, I experienced life, I created things. Um, you know, I taught myself how to write. I write pretty good. And, um, you know, uh, I educated myself, so I think that. But I mean, a lot of people that have degrees um, don't have nearly as much success or happiness in their life as I do without a degree. However, when my daughter was coming, was in high school, I was like, "Well, it's a given. You're going to go to school unless you got a better idea." And my son. I never thought he would, it would be a good idea for him to go to school because he's just not that kind of person. He doesn't like to be told what to do. Kind of like me. But I mean, she's a trooper, man. She, she can kick ass. She has discipline. Me and my son don't. <laughs> anyway. So this vlogging is pretty, pretty cool stuff. I'm doing more and more of it now. But I have a cool life. Yeah, it's fun. Um, being famous and rich being rich which is it seems I'm not there yet but for me it feels like I'm rich because um, the universe has given me abundance so I'm having to decide what to do to it, do with it um, first thing I want to do is get alternative energy and then building materials and supplies and tools and equipment and then as more money comes more land and pretty much keep involved investing in land materials equipment supplies um, energy alternative energy and the main thing is people is uh, invest in people um, because people are better than anything <laughs> if you have someone who's smart and talented and whose company you like then you should invest in them and support them in their life especially if they're gonna commit to being part of your life so I'm investing in and a lot of people because they're amazing. <laughs> you know who you are. So, um, with the success of mm, the things that have been happening in my life lately, you know, I mean, the double rainbow started it, but I kept it going by. Um, being open and honest and giving of myself of my time and my energy and the ability I have to let spirit flow through me to channel the spirit of the universe 
it's given me some um, material wealth and this is probably the first thing that I've bought that I pretty much just wanted I mean I can kind of justify it because I'll always be able to use it to get to town and um, it's really good on gas like 50 miles of the gallon it's reliable transportation but I didn't need it um, I wanted it and I got it at such a good price that it was hard to not take it because my guess is I can always turn around and sell it for what I got for it or close to what I got for it but more than that it's just a really good tool and it's fun I've been having a good time with it I'm having a motorcycle is one of the best things that I've ever had in my life I've always had a motorcycle since I was but 15 and except for the last six years when I was too poor to have one I didn't have a motorcycle but now I got some money that's the first thing I'm gonna get this is the first luxury item that I got it's awesome I'm having such a good time with it it's fun I love that bike and I love the fun that I'm having on it I don't have very I don't have very many very few things I have I don't have very many things that make me happy just having them I mean women of course that's given um, but women can complain a lot well so motorcycle is something that I just can be on it and have fun and it doesn't complain it does break down and needs gas so it's not perfect but it's pretty damn good so there you go my Kawasaki KLR 650, nine, uh, 2006. It was probably the coolest bike I've ever had. Life is good. Life is good. That's my daughter's bike. There's my garden. Nothing growing in it right now. It's an almond tree. It smells wonderful. There's my house. There's one of my roosters. It's a blood orange tree. Got uh, several fruit trees that need to get planted. It's my chicken coop. That's my house. It's really old. 1977. It's one of my wind chimes. Oh, you can see all this trippy stuff. That's the water going uphill. That water right there is going uphill. Oh, that waterfall. And it's going sideways right there. Whoa, it's swirling around right there. That's a trap. And it looks like there's a micro rainbow in it right there. I'm probably not at the best angle to view it, but whoa, that looks trippy! The water is just circulating around. 